Hi there, everyone. I'm here for Pot Hop. So Pot Hop 60 is going to be happening here in just a few minutes. So settle into your space. Um, you know, find your mat. Get your get your heater all set up. Get your humidity cranking. I did a class the other day in my bathroom. Um, that was fun. Uh, but I actually started sweating. And uh, by the time I was done, I um, it did not feel like you know the typical studio, but it, it felt great. So um, yeah, I encourage you. You know, the one thing that I am going to say, and I say this in front of all of these classes, is that this is typically done in a 105 degree room with 60% um, humidity, and that really allows you to get deeper into the postures. Um, really helps kind of limber you up. Um, and so be, be cautious, you know, understand that, you know, your practice today might look different um, than it did, you know, six weeks ago. Uh, that's okay, you know, uh, embrace that. So the biggest thing is that we're just glad that you're here. Um, and by we, I mean yoga pod, um, that you're here practicing. That's the reason why we do these classes and we do them for free for anybody to watch and to join is because we want people doing yoga. We feel like this is a really crucial time in, um, you know, in the world's history where uh, we need we need yoga, and so um, we're here to do it. Um, and I'm I'm excited to be leading you today. I'm just going to share this this link um, on my personal Facebook page, um, and then I would hope that you would do the same. You know, if you if you have the inclination and you want to share yoga with the world, um, go for it. Um, so, which is amazing, um, and we always appreciate that. Um, so, and if you don't want to, that's fine too. You know, you can. And you know, the other thing is you can actually tag people in this afterwards if you get through your practice and you're like, you know what, I think that blah 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 I could really use this. You know, share it with them, and, and maybe they go through. Maybe they do the entire practice. Maybe they do ten minutes of it. Um, but honestly, any yoga is great. So, um, whoever's here, um, let me know you're here. I love to know um, what students are here, um, and maybe converse a little bit ahead of time, and then we'll just do a little bit of housekeeping, uh, and then we'll get started. So something I do want to let you know about, just a little, little piece of housekeeping. Um, so if you are on, just comment, let me know you're here. Um, I'd love to see who's taking class. Um, best thing to do is turn your phone on, do not disturb. You know, give yourself these 60 minutes um, and turn off notifications on your computer. If you can close any other browsers, that will help with any delay that you might be having. Um, as well. So um, those are just, you know, some helpful hints um, about how to um, set up. The other thing um, is that if you can and you can avoid watching the screen and watching your device, that's going to be best. You know, unless there's something specifically that you are curious about, um, I am going to be practicing with you um, for the most part. And so um, you can always, if you haven't done this practice before, you know, this is a great place to start because I'm going to be demonstrating, which we typically don't do in studio classes. Usually we just cue by voice and, um, and kind of help people get aligned and that sort of thing to adjustments. Um, so it's a little bit different, but I think it's really helpful to go through the practice with everyone, um, specifically this practice. So anyways, let's get started. Um,
So we're going to start, toes and heels will touch. We're going to start with some pranayama deep breathing. Gaze is forward, shoulders are relaxed, chin is parallel with the earth. Ground down through the feet. Hug the calves to the bone, hug the thighs to the bone. Suck the stomach in. Interlace all ten fingers, place them just below the chin. Elbows will touch in front, gaze is forward. Inhale through the nose, elbows lift, chin presses into knuckles, knuckles into chin. Exhale through the mouth, head comes back, elbows come forward. Inhale through the nose, nice and slow, head comes down, elbows come up, up, up. Exhale, head comes back, elbows come forward, and meet in front. Nice, slow inhale as the head comes down, elbows come up, and exhale, head comes back, elbows come forward. Big inhale. Elbows come all the way up. Exhale through the mouth. Elbows touch. Elbows parallel with the earth. And inhale nice and slow. Top of breath. Elbows are all the way up. And exhale. Head comes back. Elbows come forward. And inhale. Now this shouldn't be too hard. This shouldn't be a struggle. Try to find the balance. And the head comes back, elbows forward. Between the inhale and the exhale. We want them, inhale, nice and slow, elbows lift. We want them each to be at a count of six and exhale. Inhale, head comes down, elbows come up. Exhale, head comes back, elbows come forward. And biggest one yet, so inhale, this is our last one. Elbows come up, 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 up. Exhale, head comes back, elbows forward. And find Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So, hands facing forward, shoulders relaxed, gaze is forward. Big inhale, arms overhead, standing half moon is next. I'm just going to tick tock the arms back and forth, right and left, right and left, right and left. Chin is off of chest, gaze is forward. And then come back to center. Big inhale. And I'm just going to kind of turn so three quarter ways here. Big inhale. Fingertips go right. Hips press left. Weight is into heels. Gaze is forward. Kneecaps are lifted. Stomach is sucked in. Chin is off of chest. Reach to the right with the fingertips. Press hips left. Reach and press, reach and press, and release. Come on up, find center. Big inhale, big exhale. Fingertips go left, hips go right. Weight is into heels. Kneecaps are lifted. Hug muscle to bone in the thighs. Press the hips to the right. Fingertips reach left, elongating through the right side body, elongating through the left side body. Biceps hug the ears, palms pressing together. Find your fullest expression here. And with an inhale, come on up. Gaze up at the thumbs. Biceps find the ears and then slowly just start to trace the fingertips across the ceiling. Back bend, 
Hips pressing forward, fingertips reaching back, heart spirals skyward. And inhale, come on up to center. Exhale, hinge at the waist. Hands will find the earth. Bend the knees so your palms can be on the ground. Good. Right and left, right and left. Just pedaling out the legs. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Tuck the fingers under the heels. Little pinky fingers will touch. Forearms wrap behind the calves. Nose nestles in between the knees. And then pull on the knees, or pull on the knees, pull on the heels with the fingertips. Hips will lift. Spiny elongates towards the floor. Hip, lift the hips. Press heels into fingertips. Pull on the heels. And then release the hands. With an inhale, come on up. Arms by your side. Find Tadasana. The stillness between our poses is really important. Some people say that that is the yoga. These days, it seems like with us being cooped up, we would have more stillness. But what I've found is I just keep doing. And I just keep doing and doing and doing. So try to find that stillness between each posture. Each posture. Find your breath. Second set, standing half moon. Arms overhead, interlace all ten fingers. Maybe the opposite way than you were. Biceps hug the ears. Fingertips reach right. Hips press left. Chin is off of chest, gaze is forward. Now, first set was for endurance, second set, we try to find our depth. Now, remember, we're not in a heated room here, there's no competition. Just go to what feels comfortable to you today. We're elongating through the right side body, elongating through the left side body. This is really good for our lungs and respiratory system. So we might as well try to stretch it out, see where we can go with this. Biceps hugging the ears, fingertips are reaching to the right, hips pressing left. And with an inhale, come on up. Exhale. Inhale. Find yourself to get just a little bit taller. Exhale. Fingertips go left, hips press right. Chin is off the chest, gaze is forward. Weight into the heels. Muscles hug to bone in the legs. Suck the stomach in. See if you can reach the fingertips to the left just a little more and press hips to right. Elongating through the side bodies. Helping with the respiratory system here. Stretching out through the inter intercostal muscles. And release. Come on up. Gaze up at the thumbs. Biceps. Frame the ears and then fingertips come back, hips press forward, weight is in heels, don't dump any weight into the low back, just go back, heart towards the sky, look back, go back, and with an inhale, come on up, you can tell I'm not, not going into back bends a whole lot these days, just not feeling it. A little bit of fear probably, not sure, not sure why, but those back bends are just a little too scary for me right now. So hands find the earth, palms pressing into the earth, just pedal out the legs right and left, right and left, right and left. Padahistasana, hands to feet is next. Bend the knees deeply, tuck the palms underneath the heels, fingertips pointing forward. Little pinky fingers will touch. Then step on the hands. So heels are pressing into the fingertips. Fingertips pulling up on the heels. Biceps behind the calves. And then try to straighten the legs. Nose is in between the shins. Pulling up on the heels. Pressing into the fingertips with the heels. And release. Hands come out. The flat back come on up. Arms by your side. Find that stillness. Find Tadasana. 
three-part awkward series is next. Right foot steps out about six inches, about hip width. Fingertips reach forward. All five fingers touching on each hand. Hips go back. Gaze is forward. Back is flat. Thighs parallel with the earth if they can be. Pressing the hips back. Weight goes into the heels. And then with an inhale, come all the way up to tiptoes. Flexing the ankles forward. Knees pointing directly forward. Slowly slide your back down the wall. Imagine there's a wall behind you. You don't want your hips to go any lower than the knees. Ankles flexing forward, up on the tippy toes. Fingertips reaching forward, hips reaching back. And then with an inhale, come all the way up. Release the heels down. Knees touch together like you've got a hundred dollar bill in between. Press the knees together and then slowly lift the heels. Back slides down the wall. Should look like a box from the side. Thighs parallel with the earth, knees slightly pointed down, fingertips reaching forward. And then count of 10 slowly come up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right foot meets left, arms by your side. Find Tadasana. Find your stillness. Find that breath. Arms overhead, Garudasana. Eagle pose is next. Right arm under left, pull the elbows down. Elbows pull down, hips sink back into the chair. Right leg over left. Right foot tucks behind the left thigh. Elbows pull down, shoulders pull back. Gaze is forward, chin is off of chest. Sink just a little deeper. And with an inhale, come on up. Arms overhead, left arm under right arm. Pull the elbows down. Sink deeply into the chair. Left leg over right leg. Ankles, knees, elbows, all in one line. Pull the elbows down, pull the shoulders back. Gaze is forward. And with an inhale, come all the way up. Second set. Right arm under left. Pull elbows down. Gaze forward. Hips come back. Right leg high over the left leg. Wraps behind the left calf. Sink the hips just a little deeper. Pull the elbows down, shoulders back. And with an inhale, come on up. Arms overhead, left arm under right. Pull elbows down, sink deeply into the chair, left leg over right leg. Pull the elbows down, hips sink deeply. And release, come on up. Arms overhead, arms by your side. Find Tadasana, find that stillness, find your breath. Grab a drink of water. This is we're done with our warm up. Standing head to knee is next. I am probably not going to demonstrate the fullest expression of it today. Probably can't see, but I have a giant. Uh, welt on my leg from missing a baseball today. So, Ground down in the left leg, right leg lifts to 90 degrees. Shoulders are back, gaze is forward. If left leg is completely straight and you are balanced, round forward and with a basket grip, grab underneath the sole of the right foot. We're rounding forward, left leg is completely straight and then kick the right leg out. Right heel is forward, toes are back. Elbows hug the calf. 
gaze is forward, chin is off of chest. Left leg completely straight, right leg completely straight. And release, right foot finds the earth. Ground down in the right leg, left leg lifts 90 degrees. Left thigh is parallel with the earth. Gaze is forward, right leg completely straight. Round forward in with a basket grip. Grab underneath the sole of the left foot. If the right leg is completely straight, kick the left leg forward. Heel forward, toes are back. Elbows hug the calf. Gaze is forward, chin is off of chest. Right leg completely straight, left leg completely straight. And release. Left foot finds the earth. Right hand to low back, left hand to low back. Press the hips forward. Gaze up at the sky. Elbows energetically pressed together. And release. Second set, fullest expression here. Ground down in the left leg. Right leg lifts 90 degrees. For anybody that's having a hard time with this posture, this is a great place to stay. Shoulders are back, eases forward. Balancing on the left leg, getting a really strong left leg is crucial to moving forward into this posture. The left leg is completely straight, round forward and with a basket grip grab underneath the sole of the right foot. Kick the right leg forward, heel first, toes back. Elbows hug the calf, chin finds chest, forehead finds the knee, fullest expression here, left leg completely straight, right leg completely straight, knee pressing into forehead, forehead into knee, and release, right foot finds the earth. Ground down in the right leg, left leg lifts to 90 degrees. This is a great place to stay. If you want to move forward, round forward and with a basket grip, grab underneath the sole of the left foot. Kick the left heel forward, toes come back. Elbows hug the calf. Chin finds chest, forehead, and knee meet. Forehead presses into knee, knee pressing into forehead. With bicep strength, pull on the sole of the foot. Right leg completely straight, left leg completely straight. And release. Left foot finds the earth. Supported back bend feels good here. Right hand to low back, left hand to low back. Press the hips forward, elbows energetically come together. Great job, everyone. Just take a breath here. Standing bow pulling is next. Right elbow finds right hip crease, palm facing the sky. Drop the right hand down. Grab the ankle from the inside. Left arm lifts. Two knees are in one line. We're reaching towards the sky and forward with the left fingers, kicking back with the right toes. Hinge at the waist, gazing forward over the left fingertips. Left leg is completely straight, right leg is kicking back, kicking and reaching, kicking and reaching. Forming natural human traction here. Heart spiraling towards the sky. Two shoulders in one line. Gaze is forward. Abdomen may be parallel with the earth. Kick and reach. Kick and reach. Kick and reach. Toes peeking out from behind the head. And release. Right foot finds the earth. Left elbow to left hip crease, palm facing the sky. Drop the hand down and grab the ankle from the inside. Right arm lifts. Right leg is strong, unmovable. Reach forward with the right fingertips. Kick back with the left leg. Kick and reach, kick and reach, kick and reach. Right fingertips reaching forward. 
gazing over the right fingertips, kicking back with the left toes, kicking and reaching, abdomen may be parallel with the earth, right leg is solid, unbroken, very strong, kicking into the left hand with the left foot, kick and reach two shoulders in one line, and release, left foot finds the earth, find stillness, find Tadasana. Second set, standing bow pulling. Right elbow to right hip crease, palm facing the sky. Drop the right hand down. Grab the ankle from the inside. Left arm lifts. Kick and reach. Abdomen is parallel with the earth. I'm trying to find depth here, but remember, you're not in a heated room. So that depth might look a little different today, and that's okay. Right foot kicking back, left fingertips reaching forward, kick and reach, kick and reach, kick and reach, and release. Right foot finds the earth. Left elbow to left hip crease, palm facing the sky, drop the hand down, grab the ankle from the inside. Right arm lifts, reach forward with the right fingertips, kick back with the left leg. Reaching forward, kicking back, two shoulders in one line, gazes forward, abdomen may be parallel with the earth here, kick and reach, kick and reach, two shoulders in one line, chin might touch right shoulder, left toes peek out over the back of the head, kick and reach, kick and reach, fullest expression here and release, left foot, find the earth, find your stillness, find Tadasana, just breathe. Tula Dandasana is next, arms overhead, cross Interlace all ten fingers, release the pointer fingers. Step forward on the left foot, right toes hover. Hinge at the waist. Reach forward with the right toes, reach, reach forward with your fingers, reach back with the right toes. Back is flat, kick and reach, kick and reach. And release. Step forward on the right foot, left toes hover. Hinge at the waist. We're stretching forward with the fingertips, stretching back with the toes. Back is flat, gaze is just in front of the mat. And release. Arms by your side. Find your stillness. Find your breath. Second set, Tula Dandasana, balancing stick, arms overhead. Interlace all ten fingers, release the pointer fingers. Step forward on the left foot, right toes hover, hinge at the waist, left, right toes reach back, reach forward with the fingertips, back is flat, gaze is just in front of the mat, and release. Step forward on the right foot, left toes hover, hinge at the waist, gaze just in front of the mat, reach forward with the fingertips, reach back with the toes. Biceps, frame the ears, and release. Find the back of your mat. Find your stillness. Find Tadasana. Quarter turn towards the left, or however works for you, so you can see your device. Wide leg forward fold is next. Big step out to the right, arms to a T. Toes should be parallel with the sides of the mat or slightly pigeon-toed in. Gaze is forward, heart is forward. Slowly start to hinge at the waist. Hips come back, rotating in their socket. 
grab for the outside of the feet, and then slowly tailbone moves towards the sky, gazes in between your feet or behind the mat, engage the quadriceps, that helps lengthen the hamstrings, pull with bicep strength on the outside of the feet, big toes, calves, and elongate through the spine. One more breath here. Arms out to a T and slowly come up using abdomen strength. Right foot meets left back of mat, arms by your side. Find Tadasana, find that stillness. Find your breath. Second set, wide leg forward fold. Big step out to the right. Feet parallel with the side of the mat, arms to a T. Chin is off of chest, gaze is forward. Chest is forward, hinge at the waist. Slowly go down. Engage in the quadriceps, hug muscle to bone. Hips are slightly lifted here, tailbone moving towards the sky, forehead moving in between the feet, pulling on the outside of the feet with bicep strength, lengthen the spine down towards the mat. Find your fullest expression here, pressing into the mat with all four corners of both feet. Release the hands, arms to a T with abdomen strength, come on up. Right foot meets left back of mat, arms by your side. Find Tadasana, find that stillness. Hot triangle is next. Arms overhead, big inhale, double, <laughs> double exhale, that's funny. Big step out to the right, right toes, Rotate towards the front of the mat, arms to a T. Sink deeply in that right hip, therefore the left hip will come down as well. Palms rotate towards the side. Tick tock the arms, six and 12. Right fingertips reaching towards the earth. Left fingertips reaching towards the sky. Left hip sinks down, right hip sinks down. Right thigh is parallel with the earth. Pressing into knee with the right elbow, pressing the right knee into the right elbow, stretching the arms apart. And with an inhale, come on up, right toes in, left toes out. Bend deeply in the left knee, find warrior two. Rotate the palms, tick tock the arms, six and twelve reaching up towards the sky with the right fingertips, reaching down towards the earth with the left fingertips, stretching yourself apart, pressing the hip towards the mat, gazing up at the fingertips. Reach and stretch, reach and stretch, reach and stretch, and release, come on up. Left toes in, arms overhead, right foot meets left, arms by your side, Find Tadasana, find that stillness, find your breath. Second set, hot triangle, arms overhead, big step out to the right. Right foot rotates towards the front of the mat, arms to a T. Rotate the palms, tick tock the arms, six and 12. Right fingertips reaching towards the earth, left fingertips reaching towards the sky. Left fingertips reach back slightly and then elongate. Don't dump into the right side body. Both side bodies should be elongated here. Gazing up the fingertips. And with an inhale, come on up. Right toes in, left toes out. Bend deeply in the left knee. Left thigh parallel with the earth. Palms rotate towards the side, tick tock the arms, six and 12. Pressing into the mat with the right foot, pressing into the mat with the left foot. 
reaching towards the earth with the left fingers, reaching towards the sky with the right. Open the heart, open the chest, sink deeper in the hips. And with an inhale, come on up, left toes in, right foot meets left, arms overhead, arms by your side. Find your stillness, find Tadasana. Quarter turn towards the right. You should be facing along your mat the long ways. Arms overhead, just cross the thumbs. Step forward on the right foot. Left toes will point towards the left corner of the mat. Standing separate legs, stretching. Dive down over the right knee. Forehead and knee will meet here. This is a compression posture, pressing forehead into knee, knee into forehead. Arms are active, suck the belly in. With an inhale, exhale, try to straighten the right leg. And with an inhale, come on up. Right foot meets left back of mat. Step forward on the left foot, right toes, pointing towards the right corner of the mat. Dive down over the left knee. Forehead and knee will meet. Arms are active. Pressing forehead into knee, knee into forehead. Try to straighten the left leg if you can. Arms are active here. Both feet pressing into the mat actively. Throat is choked. And with an inhale, come on up. Left foot meets right, arms by your side. Find Tadasana, find that stillness. Find your breath. Tree and toe stand are next. Ground down in the left leg. Right leg lifts. Right toe nestles in left hip crease and the knee comes down. Right hand to heart center, left hand to heart center. If you want to move forward into toe stand, please do so. Hinge at the waist, gaze forward, hands will come out front, walk the hands back to either side. Left hand to heart center, right hand to heart center, hover just above the heel with the hips. And then reverse, hands walk out in front, leg extends, and a nice flat back, come on up and meet us in tree. And release, right foot finds the mat. Left leg lifts, left foot to right hip crease. Left hand to heart center, right hand to heart center. Gaze is forward. If you want to move forward into toe stand, hinge at the waist. Hands will come out front, heel will lift, knee will bend. Hands come back to either side. Right hand to heart center, left hand to heart center. Hover just above the heel. And reverse. Hands will walk out front. Leg extends with a flat back. Come on up and meet us in tree for one final breath. And release. Left foot finds the earth. Lie down. Back on the mat. Head towards the front. Find Savasana. Honor your standing practice in whatever way you need to. We are going to do a two-minute savasana. I will call you out, so just relax. Relax the back of your head on the mat. Relax your toes, relax your ankles. Relax your calves. Relax your knees. 
Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your lower back, your middle back, and your shoulders into the mat. Melt into the mat. Relax the back of the head into the mat. Relax your jaw. Drop the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Relax the fingertips from the forearms into the mat. I will call you out. When removing is next, lift the right leg, bend at the knee, grab just below the knee on the shin and pull the knee in towards the armpit, avoiding the rib cage. And massaging the ascending colon here, compressing, mimicking peristalsis. Pull the knee in just a little deeper. And release the right leg. Left leg lifts. Pull the knee in towards the armpit. Avoiding the rib cage. We're massaging the descending colon on this side. Left knee pulls in. Back of head is on the mat. Back is on the mat. Right leg is completely relaxed. And release. Lift both legs. Grab opposite elbows just below the knees. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Massaging the transverse colon here. Drop the tailbone down. Lengthen out through the spine. Relax in the throat. Relax in the shoulders. Pull the knees in towards the chest and release. Find Savasana. Find your stillness. Inhale, arms overhead. Double exhale. Yogi, sit up. Forearm plank is next. We'll be here for one minute. Forearms form the number 11. Palms pressing into the mat. Toes pressing into the mat. Shoulders are puffing out through the back. Achilles stretching. Chin is forward, gaze is forward. Just breathe. Press your thumbs into the mat. Your pointer fingers, your middle fingers, ring fingers, and pinky fingers. Back is flat, abdomen engaged. Chin is off of chest. And we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. 
lower down. Head can find stacked hands, sphinx, seal, whatever feels good to you. Relax the low back. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Cobra is next. Bhujangasana. If you have pain in the low back, your feet can separate. But if not, big toes and heels should touch, forming that cobra's tail. All ten fingers pressing into the mat along with your palm. Elbows energetically pressing back towards the hips. Kneecaps will naturally lift off the mat and slowly lift the chin off the mat, then lift chest, press up, elbows pressing back towards the hips, toes pressing into the mat, and release. Left ear comes down, look right, reverse, savasana. Half locust is next, Porna Salambasana. Hands come underneath. Elbows will come underneath the stomach. Hands are underneath the groin. Left leg is completely relaxed. Right leg lifts. Right toes pointing back. Imagine you're trying to turn on a light switch with your toes. Lift the toes. Leg is straight and release. Relax the right leg. Left leg lifts. Lift the left leg, toes pressing up towards the ceiling, leg completely straight, weight into the hands and then into the chest, and release. Mouth finds the mat, hands come in just a little bit closer, big toes touch, heels touch, and then lift the legs, pressing into the mat with all ten fingers, weight comes forward into the shoulders, lift the, fing lift the toes, press into the mat, lift and release. Right ear to the mat. Look left. Full locust salambasana. Arms out to a T front of shoulders find the mat, big toes touch, heels will touch as well, fingers reach out and then lift the chest, fingers reaching out and back, chest pressing forward, look up, toes reaching back and up, look up, go up and release, left ear to the mat, look right. Find Savasana, find your stillness. Floor bow is next. Kick the right leg up, kick the left leg up. Grab the ankles from the outside. Knees will be about hip width apart. Kick the hand, feet into the hands. Lift the chest. Find the soft part of the belly. Look up, kick up, look up, kick up, go up. And release. Right ear to the mat. Look left, reverse, Savasana. Come up to all fours, fixed firm is next. Supta Varasana. 
Knees will touch. Separate the heels. Sit in between the heels. Now for some people this is a lot. It's a lot in the knees. And that's okay. This is a great place to stay. Right hand to right sole of foot, left hand to left sole of foot. That's a great place to stay. If you want to go down further, right elbow down, left elbow down. And then you can lie all the way back. Spine elongates on the floor. Right hand overhead, left hand overhead. Recline back. Feel a deep stretch in the quadriceps. Forming a natural human bridge here. Good for the respiratory system. And then with an inhale, right elbow down, left elbow down, right hand to right sole, left hand to left sole, head comes up last. Stretch the right leg back, stretch the left leg back, slowly start to come back towards the back of your mat. Sit on the heels. Heels and big toes will touch. Rabbit is next, or rabbit, no. Half tortoise is next. Arms overhead, just cross the thumbs. Chin is off of chest, gaze is forward. Slowly come down. Forehead finds the mat, little pinky fingers find the mat, and then hips press back towards the heels. Arms are active here. Forehead is pressing into the mat. Hips pressing back towards the heels. Stretching ourselves apart. With an inhale, come on up. Arms by your side. Find stillness. Find your breath. Stand tall on the knees. Knees are about two fist widths apart or hip width. You can press your toes into the mat or the tops of your feet into the mat. Ustrasna camel is next. Right hand to low back, left hand to low back. Press hips forward. Like I said previously, my back bends have been been scarce lately. Pressing the hips forward, head comes back. Right hand can come back, and left hand can come back. Heart reaches to the sky and opens. Pressing the hips forward, and then left hand to low back, right hand to low back, come on up. Come to all fours. Walk to the back of the mat. Rabbit is next. You can wrap the towel over your heels. Chin finds the chest. Round forward. Forehead will press into the knees. Pulling on the heels, pressing knees into forehead, forehead into knees, bicep strength pulling on the heels, hips are lifting, rounding forward, and with an inhale, come on up, roll over on the left hip, right leg stretches out cornerwise, left foot comes into right thigh. Arms overhead. Big inhale. Exhale, dive down over the right knee. Forehead and knee will meet. So you might need to bend the right knee, and that's OK. And then drop the left shoulder down. Forehead and knee are pressing into one another. We're here for several breaths. See if you can straighten the right leg. Pressing sole of left foot into the inner thigh. See if you can straighten the right leg just a little more. And with an inhale, come on up with abdomen strength. 
swap out legs, left leg comes out, right foot comes into inner thigh, dive down over the left knee, forehead and knee will meet, left knee might need to bend deeply, bend knee into forehead, forehead into knee, press the sole of the foot into the hands, using bicep strength here. We're here for several breaths. See if you can lengthen out through the left leg. Straighten the left leg. And with an inhale, come on up. If it's safe, lie all the way back for a realigning setup. Big inhale. Double exhale. <laughs> Yogi sit up. Walk the right and left hips back. Grab the big toes with the peace fingers. Right and left, right and left, right and left. And then with bicep strength, pull on the toes and then press toes into pointer and middle finger. Back is flat, shoulders are back, gaze is forward, chin is off of chest. Legs are straight-ish. And then we hinge at the waist abdomen envelops the thighs and release. Come on up. Couple breaths here. Left leg comes in. Right leg crosses over top, half lord of the fishes. Right hand comes behind, kickstands. Left arm lifts high, and then twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist. Gazing over the right shoulder, out of the corner of the right eye. And release. Counter twist if you like. Switch out the legs. Right foot finds left hip. Left foot comes over top. Toes pointing forward. Left hand kickstands behind. Right arm lifts. Gaze over the left shoulder. Gaze out of the corner of the left eye. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, and release. We have found ourselves at final breathing. I have no idea what time it is. Let me see if I can see what time it is. It is, oh, we're just a couple minutes ahead of time. So that's great. So we're gonna sit on the heels, final breathing. Just exhaling here. Don't worry about the inhale. Sitting on the heels, hands on thighs, shoulders are rolled back. And then this is the pace. Swallow a couple times. Second set. Here we go, just a little faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. From my heart to yours, namaste. Please let us know how we're doing. It's always great to see people joining. It looks like Rick was here, Bree was here. I really appreciate you all joining this broadcast. Uh, let us know how we're doing. 
Um, it's very uh, different teaching without students in front of us. And so um, any feedback or uh, comments that you want to make um, would be greatly appreciated. We really appreciate our Yoga Pod community. There's nothing like it out there. And so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.